Talk Radio 1450 WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. It's Bert. Good morning to you. We'll talk more about uh, tonight's debate between uh, Phil Murphy and Lieutenant Governor Kim Guadano. Also about uh, a couple of hundred jobs coming to New Jersey very soon. I'll give you all the information on that, and we'll talk a little bit more about our Operation Jersey Jobs initiative and our next live broadcast, which is coming up. Well, perhaps you've been watching uh, a transformation of a historic building uh, here in central New Jersey, uh, gloriously reborn and being repurposed. And here to give us some information about this uh, very cool property in Highland Park, uh, let's welcome in our special guest who is with us here today. Uh, We want to say hello to uh, our guest uh, joining us this morning. On the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline, we have Jason Kaplan, who is with us here to talk about this uh, very exciting uh, event that's uh, a a property that is opening uh, today. He's with us here with some information. Jason, good morning. It's Burt Barron. How are you? I'm doing great. Good morning. Good good to speak with you. Uh, Talk about this. uh, This was a a castle is what it was, on a 2,000-acre bluff that overlooked the Raritan River. Uh, give us uh, first uh, some history of this uh, of this building uh, here, and what we can expect uh, now with this opening that's happening later today, Jason. Sure, sure. So the um, the, histor- the the name of the old estate was Marywald. It's our um, it's our corporate offices for uh, for Kaplan Companies. We've uh, we don't own the entire estate anymore. A lot of it's been given to the county, which is uh, currently Johnson's Park, and behind it we have the uh, Rutgers Preservation. Our our office is the original. Uh, we called it. We always called it the castle. You may have seen signs for it, signs for it along River Road, but we've transformed the rest of the um, the, the 17 acres that we owned into um, new luxury rental apartments um, that we've been building for the last year or so. Been running through um, all the approvals over the last few years, and we're having a ribbon cutting grand opening today with our first move-ins actually tonight. Wow. Pretty yeah. cool. I, I, yeah. I guess when it comes to working with a uh, historic structure like this, there's so many things that have to be taken into consideration when you're talking about uh, the stone that was used and the slate and, and the glass and the building materials alone. Uh, this isn't something that anybody can just kind of walk on in and say, OK, uh, update this place and let's let's open it up. There's a lot of work, I'm sure, a lot of specialty work that goes into this. Absolutely. We actually so the, the cat what we refer to as the castle is our office building. We're we're keeping that um, as is that we we've, we've been in since the early '60s. We we're building around it. And we match the architecture of the uh, of the old castle. So it's got when you drive up there, it looks like stuff that's you know buildings that are over 100 years old. It has a collegiate feel to it, very historic looking buildings. But it's all new construction, so it, it matches the old architecture. Very cool. And just to, to, to pull it off so that it sort of you know doesn't clash with the existing building there, uh, a lot of careful architecture and a lot of careful design, uh, I'm sure, had to, had to go into this also. Yeah, absolutely. We, we actually had a um, special company come in from Pennsylvania. They matched up. It's, it's all made of uh, stone on the outside, so they, they matched it up, and, and uh, we had special masons come in and place it so it really looked very similar to and complemented instead of clashed with it. Very cool. And it's kind of an interesting setup that you have there where it's rather than just, you know, a bunch of apartments that you put up there. Uh, I guess what you try to accomplish with, with the, the work that you do, uh, Jason, you, you try to make it like where people are, are sort of close together and it's an opportunity where people can kind of interact, where they all sort of share this, not necessarily share the living space, but they all sort of live in the same area. You want to talk about what makes it so unique? Yeah, it's, that, that's what we try to accomplish with a lot of our new communities where um, the old style of apartment living was, you know, you go in, you lock your door at night, and you wake up in the morning and leave. We created a lot of common areas, so there's some social socialization between between our tenants, and it becomes more of a lifestyle in the community between them. There's there's a, a clubhouse with a gym. There's we're calling it the uh, the, the uh, Marywold Club in there, where there's a pool table, there's a pub sort of design set up, there's a, a large pool outside that we set up that's resort style that has therapeutic massages in it. It's got a sun shelf in it where you can bring um, lounge chairs in. So it has that kind of resort feel. There's a, a lot of areas where um, a lot of green spaces where you can walk your dog. There's paths along it. So you can socialize with your neighbors and you actually will we'll know your neighbors. They'll become a very you know close-knit community. Yeah, very cool. And it, like we see with uh, a lot of uh, development around this particular part of the state, Jason, a lot of times when word even gets out that uh, there's going to be some uh, some new housing opportunities available right away. People start getting on the waiting list, and these units uh, do they still sell faster than they're built? I mean, was this something there was tremendous interest as soon as this project was announced? I'm guessing. Yeah, absolutely. There was there. It, it, it's 
pretty unique because Highland Park is, for the most part, built out. There haven't been new rentals built in, in years here. So, yeah, there was high demand, especially because of Highland Park's proximity to um, train stations and its great downtown. So we, we do have a list. We just started um, leasing a few weeks ago. So, you know, there is there's plenty of opportunity right now. So that, that's really, you know, what our ribbon cutting is all about today. Um, we, we have taken some, some pre-leasing over the last few weeks, but, you know, the, the doors are really just opening today. Gotcha. So people can come by. It's uh, 1 o'clock this afternoon. You can go by and, and check it out and uh, see the old castle there, I guess, while you're there as well. Uh, 1 o'clock this afternoon, uh, the address 433 River Road in Highland Park. You've probably driven by it a, a million times, but... Uh, stop by, check out, see what it's all about. And uh, you can come to the event today, Jason, or where else can people go for more info? There, We have a website set up that is Merriwold, M-E-R-R-I-E-W-O-L-D-H-P for HighlandPark.com. Again, it's www.merriwoldhp.com. Awesome. And uh, there, there's some uh, some similarities between this Highland Park uh, uh, project and also some other things you've done, uh, Bayonne and Helmetta, to name a few. Is there, there's some similarities there? Different architecture, different look, different style, but uh-huh. yeah, we've been building a lot of luxury rentals throughout the state, all high-end um, uh, new communities in, in Marlboro and Helmetta. We just opened up as well, so um, you know, it's it uh, seems to be the the new preference of a lot of uh, a lot of people not owning, just renting. So we take care of your toilets, your bulbs, your everything. You just pay rent and and live the live the life. Yeah, yeah, we've seen so much of that across the state, uh, Jason. I've talked to so many people, whether it's people who are downsizing, you know, they're empty nesters, they don't want the big house anymore, and they want to just go back to apartment living. Uh, people still crave uh, living where there's a lot of great mass transit opportunities. I think Highland Park is a spectacular choice. So uh, congratulations on this latest project here, and uh, we can't wait to see uh, how everything is looking over there. But thanks for the time this morning, all right? Thank you. All right, thanks very much. All right, Jason Kaplan, my guest. Uh, he-